only on Fox 47 News at 10. Many folks across the country dealing with some rain. Fortunately, not mid-Michigan. Yeah, fortunately, we do not have that rain as far as today. We could see a few showers tomorrow, but really shouldn't be enough to hamper any 4th of July celebrations out there. Do expect the rain showers to move in later in the week, though, so that's going to help us out with that burn ban and all the fire risk that we have seen. Current conditions here in Lansing, we're at 72 degrees under clear skies and some very calm winds. Beautiful conditions to get out and enjoy the holiday weekend in Jackson. 67 degrees, also seeing those clear skies and very light winds. Now it was another chilly start to our day today. We hit a low temperature of 50 degrees in Lansing, 49 for both Mason and Charlotte. Well, Jackson bottomed out at 51 degrees, but we had a lot of sunshine throughout the day, particularly to the north, and that allowed us to warm up to 80 degrees in Lansing. A little bit cooler if you head farther towards the south while they were at 79 degrees in Jackson down the state border in Hillsdale. 75 degrees was the high temperature, and that's because they dealt with a little bit more in the way of cloud cover. Now all that cloud cover has moved out for today, and that's helping us cool off already. We're still at a comfortable 72 for Lansing, but Charlotte 62, Mason 63. The other places are already starting to cool off quite a bit, and we're going to see that continue through the night tonight but the clouds will be moving back in for the 4th of July and they're along with it are going to be bringing the chance of seeing a few rain showers but really not too much and the main rain showers are going to be holding off until we get to the later portions of the week when we really start to warm up we're going to be seeing high temperatures to near 90 degrees as we head through the middle portions of the week and that's also going to come with a lot of humidity and that's going to be bringing in those storms for the later portions of the week Taking a look at that satellite and radar image, you can see those rain showers just to our south. They're actually seeing quite a bit of severe weather across the Ohio River Valley. Also, the next system that we're watching is just off to our southwest around the Missouri and Oklahoma border. Well, that's not going to cause any rain showers for us. It's going to push a few more clouds up into our area as we head into the day on the 4th. Now, zooming on in, you can see we have cleared out for this evening and we are going to stay clear for tonight. So it's a beautiful night out there if you want to get out and enjoy any of those festivities. But as we head into the day on Monday, we're going to start to watch these clouds from the south build in south to north and along with them we could see a few spotty showers now the main area to focus on that would be south of 94 most of us will be staying dry through the day tomorrow and if you do end up seeing those showers it can be very brief and light by the time we get towards the 10 o'clock hour when the firework displays are set to begin the sky should eventually begin to clear on out and as we get into the day on tuesday look for those skies to clear out completely we're gonna have a beautiful day tuesday high temperatures up to near 90 degrees and plenty of sunshine for you so a beautiful day is on tap after that though Oh, look for the humidity levels to really start to rise up for Wednesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's when we're really focusing in on seeing those chances of rain showers as we head through the week. Now for tonight, we're going to see those low temperatures around 60 degrees. Some places could get a little bit cooler than that as skies have cleared out and are staying a little bit clearer than expected, but still nothing compared to what we saw the last couple of nights. And for tomorrow, 83 degrees is that high temperature. It's going to be a pretty nice day out there. A nice mix of sun and clouds through the morning hours. A little bit more in the way of clouds as you head into the afternoons. And yeah, we do have those light showers that are possible, but don't expect too much. And if they do, you do see them, they're going to be moving out very quickly. And as we take a look at that seven day forecast, we're going to be warming up quite a bit as we head into the middle portions of the week. Temperatures are going to be up to near 90 degrees. Humidity levels will also be on the rise, and those two conditions combined are going to lead to some stormy weather moving into our area and some much needed rain showers. And it looks like we could be seeing a few more rain showers head on through our area as we have a little bit more of a change in the pattern. And that might be very nice to help put a little bit of a damper in that fire ban. Yeah, that we've I'm had. sure a lot of people looking forward to some rainfall. We yes. could certainly use it. The grass can definitely use it too. <laughs> I agree. Jim, thank you.